As modern vehicles increase electrical system complexity, new vehicle smart charging systems create additional challenges when adding aftermarket electrical components. Utilizing only voltage-based triggered products will increasingly fail to deliver necessary functionality, maintain optimal battery charge, and ensure proper vehicle or electrical system uptime. In this video, we will answer what features you will want to look for when selecting your electrical components. While smart charging systems have been in common use for passenger vehicles, especially from Japanese manufacturers, for nearly 10 years, it has only recently entered commercial work truck, heavy-duty truck segment, and the police interceptor vehicle segment. Smart charging vehicles operate by varying alternator voltage and alternator current through computer-controlled algorithms, versus the old method of setting a fixed alternator voltage while the engine is running. These smart charging systems will sometimes set the voltage to a high target of 14.5 volts, and then other times reduce the target voltage to a trickle charge voltage of 13.1 volts. And sometimes it will turn the alternator off and allow the battery voltage to drop below the full charge voltage of say 12.7 volts with the various electrical loads on the vehicle, pulling the battery voltage down to even as low as 12.1 volts for a short periods. Additionally, some vehicles will even not raise the battery voltage after being turned on if the smart charge system does not see a reason to within the algorithm. So you can see that legacy relay designs and older generation add-on components can have a hard time operating within these new voltage ranges. These new smart charging system purposes are as multifaceted. They help to maximize battery life by adjusting charging voltage for ambient air temperature around the battery. Charging at proper temperatures will ensure that batteries are not undercharged or overcharged. Since automotive batteries are typically always at their fully charged levels, these systems also ensure that batteries are not constantly seeing bulk charge voltage during these times, which can also shorten the battery life. Perhaps most importantly, the smart charge systems can modulate the mechanical load that the alternator applies to the engine to ensure that during high engine power demands, the alternator load is reduced or turned off, decreasing parasitic drag while optimizing the use of total engine horsepower. This has the ability to improve fuel economy, which is critical for fleets while also meeting current and future EPA standards through the off-cycle credit program. This EPA program allows automakers to bypass emissions reductions in exchange for researching new technologies that may reduce emissions, which in turn can increase a manufacturer vehicle's competitiveness. Ensuring electrical system components operate effectively within these new design parameters can be challenging, especially for systems where battery discharge protection is employed with time delay relays or when dual battery applications are utilized and the need for automatic battery charge management across the starting on auxiliary batteries is needed. Historically, many solutions for these two applications would utilize as a standard or an option the ability to monitor the electrical system for recognizing the charging voltage or the ripple voltage from the alternator and to make intelligent decisions for connecting or disconnecting loads or batteries. With the growing use of smart charging systems, these approaches can no longer be counted on to work reliably. So on the market now, we can solve this dilemma is by going back to the basics. Devices must have a primary or backup capability to receive a simple on-off trigger signal that the engine is on and use that signal to make the same open-closed decisions that would otherwise come from a voltage sensing method. These signals could come from an ignition on signal from a key switch or from a signal wire identified by the OEM which provides the same signal reference. Historically, devices such as oil pressure switches were similarly used for this reason. For many battery management devices, it is desirable for the devices to close not only when an engine is running, but when a battery charger is applied to one or more batteries. For this reason, it is often necessary for these devices to offer both voltage and discrete input control methodologies. If you are looking for DC electrical components that meet these criteria, consult your component supplier for the best options that have the correct signal inputs and voltage parameters needed for your application. Thank you for watching this episode of Circuitry 101, and until next time, bye for now.